In 2010, investigators found that a computer worm named Stuxnet was being used in cyber attacks to derail or disrupt Iran's nuclear program. Stuxnet manipulated programmable logic controllers, or PLCs for short, which controlled centrifuges that were a key part of Iran's nuclear enrichment program. Stuxnet compromised the PLCs, which caused the centrifuges to basically tear themselves apart. Stuxnet was able to do serious damage and ruined about one-fifth of Iran's total nuclear centrifuges. But how did Stuxnet work? How was it able to cause this much damage and remain undetected? Stuxnet consisted of three parts. One part was the worm itself. A computer worm is a type of malware that self-replicates, but you can design a worm with code that allows it to do much more than just self-replicate. Malicious code can actually be used to modify the systems the worm passes through, and that malicious code is referred to as a payload. The payload for Stuxnet specifically sought out the Siemens Step 7 software, software that controlled the industrial systems at the Iranian nuclear facility. The second part of Stuxnet was a link file that automatically executed copies of the worm. In this case, there was no need for user interaction. If the user just viewed the icon in Internet Explorer, it would automatically execute the file. The third part was what allowed Stuxnet to remain undetected. It was a collection of software called a rootkit that masked Stuxnet's existence. The rootkit hid all of the malicious files and processes that were being used by Stuxnet. That meant the Stuxnet payload would tear up the centrifuges while the system's data would suggest that everything was just fine. So Stuxnet was sophisticated, strategic, and thoughtfully designed. In fact, it contained four zero-day exploits. A zero-day exploit is a software vulnerability that hasn't been discovered by the company who created the software. A company can't fix a problem if they don't know it exists, so these vulnerabilities can't be patched. To use four of them chained together, that was incredibly powerful and almost completely undetectable. Stuxnet was revolutionary malware to take advantage of this many zero-day exploits at one time. Stuxnet showed that cyber warfare was a new way to avoid conventional attacks, to avoid bullets, bombs, and bloodshed. It showed the incredible power of hackers on the global stage.